Sandile. The Desert Croc Pokemon is a small, quadrupedal Pokemon that most closely resembles a slender-snouted crocodile, a species native to the sub-Saharan Africa and the ever-classic Nile Crocodile, which of course is native to freshwater habitats in Africa. Interestingly enough, as of this video, no other Pokemon have the same typing as Sandile and its evolutions, making it rather unique and special. The Moon Pokedex states, it conceals itself in the sand and chomps down on the legs of any prey that unwarily walk over it. Its favourite food is Trapinch. Now this is insane to think about when you factor in the size and weight of a Trapinch. They are almost pound for pound the same weight. If they are able to pull down and devour these, then there is a huge testament to their latent strength. This also makes me think of the trapdoor spider here in Australia, but only bigger and a crocodile. The Ultra Moon Pokedex states Sandile still not good at hunting, so it mostly eats things that have collapsed in the desert. It's called the cleaner of the desert. So while they may be able to bring down a trap inch, they don't seem to be able to do much more. They are primarily scavengers and eat anything, animals, Pokemon, or maybe even humans that have collapsed in the desert. And again, the Pokemon world is legitimately terrifying. Sandile is number 551 in the national decks, and its primary typing is ground and secondary typing dark. Thanks to this, they are naturally immune to all electric and psychic attacks. They are also resistant to poison, rock, ghost, and dark type moves, receiving only half damage. While this sounds great, they are weak to fighting, bug, water, grass, ice, and fairy type moves. The most powerful move that a Sandile can naturally learn is Thrash, a normal type physical attack with a power of 120 and accuracy of 100%. And for all of the Pokemon breeders out there, it is possible to get a Sandile that is born with the egg move Double Edge, a normal type physical attack with a power of 120 and an accuracy of 100%. To do this, you'll need to breed a member of the Sandile family with one of Tauros, any of the Eevee family, Zigzagoon and Lanoon, both Hoenn and Galarian forms, Obstagoon, Hippopotas, Hippowdon, Stuffle or Beware, Persimian, any of the Scorbunny line, Wulu, or Dubwool. Sandile's base stats are nothing amazing, however their base attack will usually be their primary leader at 72, and defense, special defense, and special attack are tied for lowest at 35 apiece. Once maxed out at level 100 and accounting for proper training and natures, Sandile will end up with the highest possible stat being HP, which would be at 304. Sandile are a perfect split when it comes to gender, with it being a perfect 50-50 male to female. They are incredibly easy to catch, with a capture rate of 33.8%. This will increase or decrease based on status effects, remaining HP, and other factors. They are classed as medium slow levelers, which makes these little crocky boys slow bloomers. You will need to dedicate some time to training them up. Sandile eggs belong to the field egg group, and if you do get your hands on one, you'll need to travel roughly 5,200 steps for it to hatch. While Sandile are small, they are relatively heavy. They're on average 0.7 meters, or 2 feet 4 inches, and somewhat impressively, 15.2 kilos, or 33.5 pounds. Defeating a Sandile in combat will earn you one attack EV, and this trapdoor crocodile will begin to evolve into a crocorock starting at level 29, and then further into a crocodile at level 40. There are currently no other known forms of the Sandile family outside of the Unova region. Sandile are small quadrupedal Pokemon with short legs and a long snout resembling a small crocodile. The upper half of its body is mostly a light brown, with dark brown stripes running horizontally across. The underside of its body is a light pink, and those same dark brown stripes cover here also. Sandile have a black mask-like design that covers their eyes. This is not just for appearance, however. There is a thin membrane, which prevents sand, dust, debris, and many other things from getting caught in their eyes. This membrane also assists with Sandile being able to see without receiving damage from this hard sun in the deserts. On each of its legs are three very sharp black claws. Sandile have a very cute shiny form. The light brown of its body is now a pale yellow, its underbody is now that more closely resembling teal or aqua, and the stripes running across its body seem to be closer to grey. The black membrane around their eyes is unchanged. Sandile are fierce Pokemon, and while they may not be apex hunters yet, they are very energetic and love to run or swim through the sand of a desert. 
Being cold-blooded like a crocodile though, it is safe to assume that you are just as likely to see them sunbathing in the harsh desert environment. The most notable sand isle is, of course, ashes. And this is only here as an honourable mention, as Ash never caught a sand isle. However, his future partner Crocorock and Crocodile first met Ash when it was still an unevolved. Following Ash all over the Unova region, it slowly built a bond with our protagonist that resulted in it becoming a part of his core team. This sand isle once caught and evolved became one of Ash's most powerful Pokemon while in the Unova region. You'll almost exclusively only find sand isle in the deserts. However, there is a very notable exception, and that is in the Alola region. This island chain are hot and humid enough for Sandile to thrive, so it's not uncommon to see them on the beaches here.